Hey, before this video starts, I just want to say, if you like this content, make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. Also, if you want a video of your own, make sure to commission me either when I'm live on YouTube, or you can DM me through my public Discord server. Anyway, let me not take up your time. Enjoy the video. A bunch of campers. Isn't that nice? Is it a family outing? <laughs> oh, yeah. I think I'm gonna have a fun time with all of you here. Masky, what have I told you about playing with your victims? You can never let me have any type of fun. It's like you're my parent or something. God. And that's why Slenderman put me in charge of you. Because he knows how you can be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever, dude. But look. We have a few new friends here. You think this would be enough to satisfy his hunger for at least a day or two? Hmm. I'm not too sure. There's about five of them here. Yeah, you think that's enough? Hmm. We'll have to see after we kill them. Oh, well now you're speaking my language. So, do you want me to, like, you know, do the whole spiel about why you're being killed and yada yada yada, all types of that bullshit? Or do I get to skip to the fun part? You have to explain. <sighs> well, we always go through this shit, man. It's always about, I'm here to kill you so we can get food for our master. It's always about that. Why can't we just change it up for a little bit, huh? Make it fun for us, like it used to be. And not just because our boss needs something to eat. Times are different now, Masky. You know that. It's not only just for us now. We work for him. That is the end of the conversation. Yep. You don't have to tell me twice about that. Before you all, like, go screaming, Please don't hurt us. We haven't done anything. Please. That's the point. Our boss is not... Human, all right? Explain it better, Masky. Why don't you explain this bullshit? I'm so sick and tired of explaining this all the fucking time. <sighs> you know, for an adult, you still act like a child. Do not mind my partners. Attitude. Don't panic. We're only here because we are only working for the Slender Man. And he needs human souls to regain his strength. And, well, you've unfortunately set up your campgrounds in his forest. And that is where we hunt down innocents and take their lives and bring the bodies back to our master. Yeah, he'll eat you up real good. He'll make sure that 
every single piece of you is used properly. <laughs> Musky. 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 What? I said that's enough. Either you take this seriously or you go for a walk. You always gotta take the fun out of everything, don't you, Hoodie? Always gotta be the big boss man, huh? Because someone likes to be ignorant when he's doing his job. So let me do mine. <sighs> Alright. I guess so. Anyway, what I was saying was that our boss feeds on human souls. Innocent human souls. We take the bodies back to him, and then he rips the souls out of your bodies, and then he eats them to regain his strength. Trust me, you don't want to know what he does with the bodies afterwards. I can tell them. Masky. Come on. Put a little fear in their hearts. We work for a... devil, basically. Why not just put a little bit more fear in their hearts before they die, huh? Get, get out of the way. Masky. Listen. Boys and girls and adults alike. Our boss is literally the devil, alright? And what he does with the bodies after he rips the souls right out of your bodies is he basically uses every little piece of their parts like arms, legs, brain, eyeballs, pancreas, lungs, all sorts of things, and he puts them all to a side, and he brings them to the other proxies that he has gathered throughout the time and night. And do you know what he does with them? He feeds them to the people that he has. Alright? So your bodies aren't gonna be... Well... They're useful... But just for the wrong things, you see? Now, could we please speed this process up before I blow my own fucking brains out? <sighs> you always know how to put fear in people's brains. Uh, anyway, I guess we can... Speed up this process. Masky, do your thing. Oh, finally! Sometimes I agree with you, Hoodie. We do need to speed up the process. So? Which one of you wants to die first, huh? <laughs> Oh, is the Papa being the big hero today? Well, newsflash, I'm the one with the gun here. So, I guess you're a volunteer then. Good. <laughs> Who's next, huh? This is really something else. Especially coming from you. What? I haven't killed anybody in a good week or three. So I just want to release all this stress on these lousy, stupid fucking campers. Whatever, man. You do you, I guess. Exactly. And now, which one of you is next? Oh, it's the mother this time. Perfect! <laughs> Alright, I'm sick of choosing now, so before y'all start praying, I'm just gonna start blasting. Start shooting every single one of you in the head. You ready? Here we go! One, two, three, four, 
five. <laughs> and six. <laughs> Man, I needed that. <laughs> you live a mess. Yeah, well, that happens when you shoot people in the head. Do you have my cigarettes on you? Yeah, yeah. Perfect. That was good. Now, we just need to bring these bodies back to Slenderman and, well, he can do the rest. I still don't like how you do things. It's unethical. We're murderers, Hoodie. None of the shit we do is ethical. Now hurry up and pile the bodies into a nice spot so we can carry them back. Yeah, yeah. I get you. What do you mean we haven't killed anybody in, like, a few weeks? Didn't we do that, like, literally three days ago? We went to one of the outer towns and we took some of the people into the woods and we quite literally killed them. Why did you say it only took us three weeks, or at least you, three weeks to kill somebody? Well, I mean, it's technically true. I mean, I haven't really killed anybody because you took the killing away from me. It's because you make a mess every time that you kill somebody. God, well, murder isn't a clean job, now is it? Look. I always make a mess whenever I do anything. You've lived with me for so many years now, you lived with me. The person that you kill people with. You think I'm gonna leave such a tidy little, like, display for the police to show and go through all the evidence? No! I'm gonna make it messy and make sure these lousy pieces of shit are not even recognizable. Oh, Jesus. You know, sometimes you give me a migraine, and it's not the good ones either. Are there good migraines? That's not my point. What my point is, is that you don't have patience. And patience is a virtue, especially for with what we do. Yeah, well, our boss doesn't really pay us. All he does is just grants us more and more promises that he will do something great for us. And what has he done? Jack shit. We haven't gotten a single payment. I always have to roughage through all sorts of shit like these campers. I have to sort through their food and whatnot, just so I don't go hungry. You do the same shit. So why even try to work with this guy if he promises empty promises, huh? We don't have any other choice. We chose this life for ourselves. So instead of complaining like a baby, how about you get your head out of your ass and actually do the work that you're supposed to? Why? Why? Just, just why, really? Why do I have to listen to all this bullshit that some fucking demon with no face and standing at basically eight foot, why do I have to listen to him at all. I could be my own person. I could go kill whatever the fuck I want. But you don't. You kill because of the Slenderman. If you don't kill before him, he will kill you. 
Do you not remember the contract that you signed with him? Do you not remember the symbol that is burnt into your body because of him? He owns us, Maskey. There is nothing that we can do about it. So shut the fuck up and pile these bodies right before I do something about it. Well, look who grew a pair of balls. Hoodie. <laughs> you know, I like you better when you're angry. Because it actually shows your true colors and what you actually care about. You don't care about these bodies. You never cared about innocent lives or any shit like that. No, 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 no. You only care about killing and making sure your survival is it the first. I know you more than you know yourself. Is that right? That is right. It's completely right. So, I suggest for you to not boss me around like I am your child. Otherwise, things will get messy. But it won't be with innocent blood. I guess we're both on the same agenda of killing them. You got that right, buddy. And that's why we make such a great team. Because we hate both of each other equally enough to take the anger out on the innocents that we kill for Slender Man. I know we did sign those contracts, and I know about the symbols on our bodies. I know every single little piece of it. So don't tell me that I don't know shit when I know every single bit of it. Look, man. I'm sorry. I shouldn't be treating you like a child. You are my partner. And, well... I should take into consideration that you are my permanent business partner as well. We always have been partners. Hell, we're basically brothers at this point. So I'm gonna be the bigger man and apologize for what I've been saying and what I've been doing. I'm sorry. Well... God damn it, you got me all sentimental and shit, man. It's alright, look. We'll talk about everything about what we said to each other just a few minutes ago. We'll talk about it once we get back to fucking Slender Man, alright? We'll get back to it with our sleeping and whatnot, and we'll, we'll talk about everything, alright? Let's just stack up these bodies and bring them back, alright? So we don't really have to, you know, be late with our, you know, shit. Agreed. Come on. Let's get this shit over with. <clears throat> you know, I don't see you as a burden. I see you as a brother as well. And... <clears throat> With all the shit that we've been through with all the years, we shouldn't really be fighting. Well, not each other, but you know what I mean. Yeah, I get you. I get you. So, what do we do now, since we got all these bodies and whatnot? Well, you said before, we have to carry him back to Slenderman. Isn't there, like, a wheelbarrow or anything around here that we could just put him in? Yeah, uh, let's see. I hope they have a car. We could hotwire the car and put him on a trunk or something. 
Yeah, I think that'll work. All right, all right. Let me just uh, go over here and get in the car and try to hotwire this shit, man. All right. I'll look, look out, out for, for people. people. All right. <sighs> this is going to be a long night.